Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing Jurassic World, Camp Cretaceous, Pressomatic board game. So we'll get straight into it. We'll show you the packaging and then we'll pull everything out and get a closer look. So do let us know down in the comments what you think. If you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. So logos all the way around the sides. On the front, guys, with some nice imagery. And then you've got a window here. It shows you what's um, included on the inside. And then on the back, we've got... Um, the board that's on included that we just saw through the front window and we've also got our instructions there on the side as well so we'll cut through the tape on the top be able to get it all out and uh, definitely take a closer look at everything so everything slides out nice easy and simple okay now we have protection around our dice so we have our player tokens taped up as well. Okay, now we've got tape on this guy, so we'll just cut through him as well. And that way there is, uh, we can get in nice and easy. All right. So, we've dealt with that. So we've got our player tokens here. We've got a, uh, a turquoise green blue there, and uh, a uh, red and orange player token there. As you can see, you've got uh, four colors on the board. So you choose a color or choose a uh, dinosaur that you want to represent as you play through the board. But uh, there's your um, playing board. And then on the back, there's nothing, guys. So you've got your dice in the middle and your, uh, your zones on the side. What I'll do guys, like I said, um, I'll take a read of the instructions in the outro, I'll run through how it all plays and uh, what it looks like once it's all set up. So like I said earlier guys, do let us know in the comments what you think and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. But for now, we're gonna conclude this part of the video. Welcome back guys, so I got it all set up. That's what it's gonna look like uh, if you're playing on a with four people, guys. Uh, obviously you can play two to four players, so you'll have it set up with either two um, zones or um, three zones or four like I've got now. Um, basically guys, what you wanna do is determine who goes first. So you all roll the dice and then highest roll goes first until you um, determine who the uh, lowest roll was and then that's your order of play. Once you've done that guys, then you all start rolling the dice you need to roll a six before you can even start guys okay so what you need to do is once you roll a six you move your token to the starting space you all start in the home spaces down the bottom of your um your zone and you've also got um, four slots for your finish line as well but uh, once you roll that six then you move your uh player token to the uh, starting spot on the uh, on the board and then you roll again and then you can start moving around the board in a clockwise direction. Once you get all the way around to the finish line, then you can enter any of those four spots by exact count only, okay? If you roll too many, then you gotta um, retract backwards and then try again on your next roll, okay guys? Um, once you're uh, in play and if you roll another six, that's when you can move another one of your tokens to the starting grid roll again and then keep moving around the board. You can't have more than one player token on the starting grid at once, okay? So once he's on there, get him out so you can get another token out into play as quickly as possible. Um, basically, guys, once you roll a six, it uh, allows you to have a, another roll, okay? So every time you roll a six, you get a second roll. So that's why we roll a six, you put your token there, or you can move your, um, your token in the field six places if you don't want to um, 
move one of your tokens to the starting grid or there's none left in the starting grid, okay? You can still move six and then roll again, okay? Um, if you land on one of your um, opponents while you're out um, going around in a clockwise direction, then you take their spot on the board and then they move back to the home base and then they have to start all over again. Okay, so to win, what you need to do guys is get your piece all the way around the board, back into the, um, and then into the finish line, okay? So you've got four spots there. You just need to uh, get all four tokens into those four places and then you win. If you're playing more than two players, then you can determine who comes second, third, and fourth, okay? Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we're doing the next giveaway. So do subscribe, it's running for that, and we'll catch you next time.